Russ, can you tell us a little bit about how you engineered to create a lean video? I gotta say, I love it, and you really thought out of the box. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, you told me we wanted this video to, to be kindergarten simple, and we needed it to just happen seamlessly. So what we did is we made this process so that as you shoot the videos, as soon as you're done recording, it automatically backs up to a service that moves a file from the device to a folder to store it temporarily, and on our little headquarters, our technology headquarters, it automatically sees that file when it hits the folder, and I wrote a little code so that it takes that file, as soon as it hits the backup, it moves that and puts it onto our hard drives here, our physical hard drives here, which also automatically back up. So without even trying, as soon as this video is done recording, it automatically gets boom, 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 and then as soon as it's there, I come in, I grab the file, put it on a hard drive, and I'm editing, and that's how you're seeing it now. It is really amazing, and, and people have never even tried a camera for, for, as a matter of fact, the person that's shooting this video has never even used a uh, iPhone. Would you go through a little bit more specifically and talk about the, the different parts like the gimbal, the Dropbox, and so it kind of gives like a little bit more of the methodology? Because we're hoping that other people will adopt the style of celebrating wins you know, with their teammates. Absolutely. So uh, the technology that you're watching this video on, simple iPod Touch. It's a dedicated device that takes good, clean HD video that we made so that that backup automatically happens. We don't have to worry about pulling out somebody else's iPhone. Now what also is on that is a gimbal device. It's also called a steady cam and it keeps the camera steady so that as any little movements or little turns aren't really noticed, like when you're holding a camera, that handshake. So that helps us walk forward, walk to the side, and it keeps it smooth and easy. Now Dropbox is also what we use to take from the camera to this, goes up, and then over and down, if you will. And that service is just a simple file sharing service, but they offer automatic backup off of your iPod or your iPhone. So we use that just to automatically, as soon as you're done recording, backs up, and then when it lands in the computer over there, I just wrote a code that as soon as it hits that folder, brings it down again off of that. So we're conserving file space in the folder, and it's always backed up on our physical drive so we know we have it. And the waste that we're saving, we're saving waiting time. We don't have to worry about finishing it, typing in all the transfer stuff to make sure it's sent to an email or wherever, and over-processing. So I really think it's, a, it's the most efficient way we can handle this, and you know, it's just as simple as a button. And let's just, let's talk about the math real quick. The long story short, the, the iPad Touch is like a couple hundred bucks. The mm -hmm. gimbal's a couple hundred bucks. But with 400 bucks, You've created this process that gets backed up on the hard drives and goes to the cloud. It's amazing. Yeah. Dude, you did an awesome job, man. Thank you.